and we here the ID TechX show. Hi. Hi. So, so I'm Ilaria Veroli, I'm the Executive Vice President for Myant. Myant is a textile computing platform. Um, our first product on the market is going to be an underwear. This is what the box looks like. And just to give you an idea, it comes with uh, instructions. Five uh, different underwear. A module and, it's actually this, and a charger. This one? And it's this one here. I'm just going to show you so what the underwear looks like. So what's special about it? And the product is called Skin. So from the underwear, we capture um, a very accurate ECG. We have uh, breathing rate, and we capture motion and body temperature. This is some of our other, other products. This is, for example, a, uh, a replacement for a Holter monitor. It's a 12 lead ECG. And it will be on the market uh, later in 2020 as well. What is, what is happening there? This is the uh, Holter. So does this it also the, do all this tracking and ECG and everything? So it has, this is uh, just a prototype, but essentially yeah. what it is, it's going to be a very comfortable wrap shirt with a 12 lead ECG. So it replaces, for example, the gel electrodes that are currently needed for continuous uh, ECG monitoring. But ECG is, is not so easy to record, right? No. Or do you have accuracy? Yeah, yeah, it's very accurate. Um, this is very accurate. This also, from the waistband, I think we're the only ones who can capture an ECG from a waistband. Um, and that's a four lead ECG. How do you, how do you capture it from the waistband? So Where's the sensors? So the sensors are integrated into the, the band uh, and it's uh, four different sensors. And uh, this is the modules and then that um, communicates with, the, uh, with your phone via Bluetooth and then it goes to the cloud and then it can communicate with whomever you want it to, whether it's your doctor, your family, your uh, coach, your trainer. And so the way to do ECG is that you need to have different points and kind of like do mathematics in between. Exactly. A little bit, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And then it's uh, about heart rate variability also? Exactly. We can capture uh, heart rate variability as well. Um, I want to show you another product over here. So this is a, a bra, and the, weight, the band for the bra is very similar to the band in the uh, underwear, so it captures similar information. Um, we also have a headband. This is for sleep. And from here, we capture an EEG uh, as well, the ECG and um, oxygen saturation level. What is so, the EEG? Is uh, the ECG? Like the brain waves. Brain waves? Yes. How much uh, data can you get out of the brain waves? Uh, qu well, quite a bit. Uh, to give you an example, this band with the combination of the underwear or the holter that I showed you before, that combination can, uh, for example, detect sleep apnea. So now uh, it might be possible to detect sleep apnea from home as opposed to having to go to a sleep clinic. And can I show you one more? Um, uh, product here we have a polo shirt and from the sleeves we capture continuous uh, blood blood pressure really and yeah so and, is it tight here and it's not no it's cuffless so it doesn't tighten and uh, what do I look what do I see here what is this what you see here is uh, sensors again knitted but we also have PPG here as well which is and optical sensors. So this is a combination of, uh, of sensors. The blood pressure t-shirt, is it far away in the future or? No, it's also going to come out in 2020, probably in the later part of 2020. So all this stuff is coming into mass production? Well, yes, hopefully. <laughs> yeah? So my end is uh, full end-to-end. Uh, -end. Um, we are end-to-end, -end, so we start from the, uh, from the fiber. We do almost everything in-house. Uh, we have many different types of engineers. We have fashion designers, we have user experience, industrial designers, and together we build, we start from the fiber and we go all the way to mass production. So the actual uh, materials and stuff, uh, you have the expertise in that? Yes, yeah, yeah. We think we're the world leaders in textile computing. It's a big deal. Yes. Uh, <laughs> This is the next iPhone, no? Because everybody's wearing clothes 
and if it becomes yeah. usable to have smart clothing, yeah, it's going to so, be huge. So listen, this is the idea. The idea is to democratize uh, access to technology. Um, we were, we really don't like the idea that, for example, elderly people or the very young or the very sick or the marginalized in our society don't have access to technology, and we would love to provide them with access. And uh, clothing is ubiquitous. Uh, maybe you could leave this right there. So. Um, you said, you write here, you say uh, co-design, what does that mean? You, you can work with, uh, with the clothing companies? Uh, yeah, I mean, co-design doesn't have to be clothing only, uh, but yes. Uh, we, so one of the things that we do, for example, is we partner with many different uh, universities and uh, we use their talent. It's partly for talent creation, it's partly to develop st standards within the industry, um, but also to be creative together. Um, so we like to uh, nurture ideas that uh, that come out of universities. And uh, it says 100% of the population, or of the body, 100% of the time. Yeah, the, uh, the idea is, like I mentioned before, is clothing, um, but textiles in general. So it could be car seats, it could be office chairs, it could be rugs. Um, they're around us all the time. So they're around us 100% of the time. Um, they cover almost 100% of the body, and um, the real is the um, the access is again ubiquitous. I want to have a smart pillow and a smart blanket uh, in the bed. You can you can do? Uh, yes. So we're working on many different uh, products, not just clothing, and uh, a lot of them are around uh, the bed, the sheets, for example, mattress covers. Yes, we have uh, pillows. Because um, that would be the, be the great place to have the sleep tracker in the bed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And what do we have here? Integrate. It's all the different things. Yeah. Yeah. So again, we show here. We show the fact that um, we're able to integrate any technology. The the advancement in material science with, with regard to uh, fabrics is has is incredible. There's a lot of also advancement in the automated machines. So for example, knitting machines and weaving, etc. So the combination of that make it possible to integrate uh, technology in every way, shape or form into textiles. And um, right here, there's a slot for the part that also has the chipset and the battery. Yeah. This and is how long is the, the battery going to last? So right now, the battery lasts four days. Four? Yeah. So just so uh, you, charge it a couple days, times a week? You know what, every four days you need to charge it. It takes about 20 minutes to charge. But obviously, eventually, the idea is to integrate the battery directly into the, the uh, textiles then, with flexible. And then you just change uh, the underwear And then we just day. change the underwear. And then you have for the whole as week. As often as you need to. And, to the, yeah, and then you have the whole week. And that's going to be cables. Yeah, that's the charger. This is the, um, the module. It's, it's <laughs> nice. And eventually the module could potentially be updated if you have a different module in the future and you just keep the same underwear. It's going to be a, like a yeah. platform maybe. Yeah, or the other way around. Yeah. All right. Cool. So January 2020, what's the price? Is it is it already decided? Not yet. But hopefully it'll be in the in the way that let me put Everybody would want to have this. The combination of the integration of different types of um, medical devices, if you replace them, if you replace the underwear, um, and if you compare it to any other wearable, for example, this is going to be much less expensive. Nice. And then you have some other things happening here. This is a heat. Yeah, we have a heated garment. Um, let me just see if I can open it. Maybe right here. But uh, is this this one? It's that one. Yeah. 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 So we have heated products. Um, these are designed for um, sports, but also for uh, workwear, uh, work clothing. Um, it's protective for people who work outside uh, in cold weathers, for example. Where, where does it heat? Let me show you here because this doesn't have the module. So the heated, um, 
So the, the places in the body that uh, need to be heated are not um, are well studied by our engineers to figure out exactly where you should go with in our um, textile programmers. This is what the battery pack looks like right now. Uh, it can heat the, the garment and also we have a heated um, uh, base layer bottom as well. So there's some stuff inside that does the heating in the sides? Yeah, or? there's there's conductive threads that um, and sensors that heat the, uh, the garments. You know what might be interesting also is uh, this is a knee brace and this knee brace is, is designed for uh, rehab and pain management and that it also has um, it also has uh, electrostimulation and he and heat as well as motion sensors for uh, rehabilitation uh, purposes so for rehab uh, of uh, let's say people that have knee surgery yeah exactly exactly for athletes knee replacement for, maybe yeah but also for pain management in general, for, for the elderly, not just for athletes. What does it do with the pain? Um, just the heat and uh, electrostimulation together. So um, electrostimulation is proven way of managing pain a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and so it's heat, uh, clearly. Heat helps. Yeah. Nice. And then uh, there's all the trackers you're talking about to, to show in the, in the app if you're doing your correct uh, rehabilitation. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. How soon? This? Um, this will probably maybe be 2021. Ah, not 2020? You can't? Oh, okay. I like to say okay. 2020. <laughs> okay, cool. Everything could be speeding up because um, 7 or 8 billion people, right? Everybody needs smart clothing, I think. So yeah, you'll, exactly. you'll be busy. Exactly. It's inevitable, right? Right. Thank you.